Coach Stacy here. I want to take you through our basic kickboxing movements. So there are a lot of nuances to each one of these techniques, but I'm going to show you some really super basics to make sure you're staying safe on the floor, okay? So the first one is going to be our stance. So we call this a boxer stance. I want to make sure one foot is in front of the other. My weight is about 50-50%, okay? So it should look like one is closer to the bag than the other foot, okay? So when I'm standing here, make sure you're on the balls of your feet, nice and light. You don't want to be like stuck in mud, okay? So as I'm, as I'm punching, I'm going to be moving my body side to side and pivoting those feet, okay? So my boxer stance. And then I'm going to take my hands and put them in what we call a guard position. So I'm going to bring my hands up, keep those elbows tucked in nice and tight. My back hand is going to rest on my cheek and my front hand is forward, okay? So from side, you can see here, nice and wide, here, boom, okay? Let's go through our long range techniques first, okay? So when we're using, when we're uh, punching on the bag for our long range techniques, we are going to use a horizontal punch. So that means that my hand's going to end up like this versus this, okay? So this is the correct one we want to use. So I'm going to start with my boxer stance here. My hands are up. For my jab, I'm gonna fully extend that arm for that punch, okay? Anytime I say jab, that's the punch that's gonna come off the lead leg, okay? So it's nice and quick, right out, right back. I say it's like touching fire. Send it straight out, straight back. This hand stays in, this hand's gonna come out and back. Super straight line, okay? And then I move on to my cross. So if this is my jab hand, that means that the back hand is gonna be my cross. That's the one with some power, okay? So as I send that cross forward, I'm actually gonna pivot my foot too and turn my hip to face the back, right? Boom, cross. That's my power punch, cross. So I've got my jab, cross. Then I'm gonna move into my body shots, my in close techniques, okay? So for here, I'm standing long range. I wanna step in, get in a little bit closer for those other techniques. So if I'm doing my jab cross here, head height, right? Um, I'm punching, let's say, the nose of a person. So when I'm doing my hooks, I wanna picture hitting the ears on the person, okay? So when I do my hooks, I'm gonna raise my elbow up. I'll show on this side, raise my elbow up, and I'm still gonna be punching with that same part of my hand, but this time I'm gonna be doing it on the side. So I've got my hook here, and I have my hook here. So if I do that front view without a bag, elbow comes up, punch, punch, okay? And then my uppercut, I'm gonna send my hand down by my hip, my palm faces up, it's really a shot to the gut, okay? So it's gonna uppercut here, uppercut here. I'm using my hips and my feet to pivot and push that punch right into the back. So it's not just about my arms, it's my lower body too, okay? Then I've got my two kicks. Um, my first basic simple one is going to be my front kick. So I'm going to start with my hips facing the bag, lift my knee up. That's going to, that's going to show the height of my kick. So I'm going to bring that knee up and I'm going to hit with the bottom of my foot. That's the target area. Push that bag, boom. I'd push it harder, but I think I'd move the camera all over the place. So here, boom, I'm going to push for that front kick. Nice and simple. For my roundhouse, I'm going to start by facing away from the bag. So I'm going to turn my hips away from the bag. My hips are gonna go in the same direction as my kick. In order to get my hips there, my supporting leg is going to be facing the same way. So that means my toes are away from the bag. I'm gonna lean back onto this supporting leg, lift up the other, point that knee, and then kick, like I would kick almost like a soccer ball, okay? So I'm gonna point my toe, and I'm gonna hit the bag somewhere between my lower shin and right here at the top of my foot. I don't wanna do it on my toes, and uh, I don't wanna do it too high up on my shin, so somewhere right in between. I'll show you from this side, my toes are facing away, lift up, boom, nice and quick, okay, for that roundhouse. So I'm going to show you one last thing, and that's just putting your movements together for the jab cross. So here, jab cross. Don't forget you've got then your hooks, your uppercuts, front kick, and then turn, roundhouse, okay. All the, all the while, you want to keep those hands up nice and tight. Um, that's your basic kickboxing techniques. We will improve upon these as the time goes by, but start here and you'll be able to keep those movements nice and safe. Let me know if you have any questions.